everyone and welcome to anime on draft episode 30 it's been a couple of weeks uh like last time so we have a lot of content this week so starting off the beer this week we will have is the saison dupont from brasserie dupont i'm trying my best to pronounce it with the best intentions uh it is a belgian (laughs) farmhouse ale your intentions aren't aren't good. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're so doing, uh, you're doing well, uh, Alec. Uh, you're the one that picked this beer. Why don't you uh, go ahead and kick us off? So, like, oh, with tasting it or why I got it? Why you got uh, it? And well, I can. Oh, uh, I'll do both. Uh, so I picked this one do because it. we had not done this type of beer yet. Really, we haven't done a saison, right? Not done a saison. I don't know. I don't no. think so. Probably not. I don't think so. All we, all Anyways, we do, all we do is IPAs. We did. Yeah, I didn't think we did. So I said, fuck it. Let's get a Saison. home. And uh, Belgian sounded good. And so I went on BevMo and I looked and this one was available uh, here. And I, well, actually, I checked Rolando's BevMo, saw it was available there, knew it was available here because I'd seen it before. So I picked it because all three of us could get it. And that's the story of that. No, nice. Good You're job. so considerate. Wow. Yeah. Look at you. <laughs> um, I, it's also kind of, uh, it works out because one of our uh, somewhat regular, maybe often not really uh, listeners, Nick, is actually a big Saison fan. So here here you go. Stop stop bugging me. <laughs> nice. so, except he, he won't respond to anything I say ever. Ever. That's because he hates you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Send help. <laughs> All right. Send help. I need an adult. So uh, why don't we go ahead and have our first sips? Well, it smells like Belgian. Like a, a lot of sedi- sediment in my beer. Do yours have a lot of sediment? No. No. Uh-oh. Do you like shake your bottle? Mine also tastes sour. Beer? Is yours the <laughs> wrong beer? No. It's totally the right beer. Maybe it's like expired. <laughs> Well, I don't know. It tastes like a sour. <laughs> it tastes like a sour, guys. Help me. Mine does not taste like a sour. I mean, they have similar components to a sour, but they don't taste like a sour to me. <laughs> I think Mine you might have gotten a spoiled of, beer. Mine has a yeah. ton of sediment in it, and it tastes like a sour, so I'm not going to drink it. <laughs> it does not taste good. I'm going to go ahead and put that... Uh, Put that over there. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> so, uh, Jesus Christ. So Drew is uh, retarded. I'll I'm be- not retarded. I'll, I have the I have the beer. <laughs> so, so it tastes uh, so he, bad. Uh, ruined his Ugh. beer. He, <laughs> put his, he ruined it his beer. So bad. Mine, probably like mine set does it in have the a sun. lot of sediment. Sad it. Mine does sun. have a lot of sediment though. Hmm. I'm shining a light oh, on the bottom of the bottle, and mine has a ton of sediment on the bottom. Edge. Well, so it smells, uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe like you're say, just it, really gross. It smells like maybe you just really don't like it. I, <laughs> of of the people it. that I don't can, know. I'll keep. I don't know. Of the people that can uh, judge it. So, Alec, what do you think of uh, the beer so far? Um, I think it's good. Uh, I like the flavor. It's got that like fruity kind of flavor you expect from a saison and. um Really carbonated, which again you kind of expect that. So, I like the carbonated feeling of it. It's really refreshing, just as a drink. Um, definitely, it's kind of tasty. It's kind of like spicy. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, what they they really love that one spice, and I think it's in this one too. The um, the coriander, <clears throat> coriander, coriander. Thank you. I always I never remember, but yeah. Is it made with cor? Are they made with coriander? Anyone know? I don't know. I'm kind of getting a lot of clove in this. I can't taste. It's like (laughs) really like in your face. 
Mm-hmm. Let me, I'm going to take another. It is like the mouthfeel is very fizzy. Mm-hmm. And the, you can see it's fizzy because the head lingers for a long time. Yeah. I've still got like a and the head is nice like a layer on stark there. white. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, mine it's mine has a, all those things you're talking about. It just it to me it tastes maybe it's just my taste buds. I don't know. It tastes like a sour. Maybe you're broken. <clears throat> <clears throat> maybe he is broken. I get ginger. I get ginger in this a little bit, I think. Maybe that I no. that I do get. Mm-hmm. I do taste the ginger. Interesting. Why am I still but drinking it? Should it I, also should seems I a little hoppy. But I don't um, think there's any. That's up to you. <laughs> no, I, I don't think, think it's just all the spices <laughs> making it, giving you that bitter um, flavor. Mm-hmm. Guys, should I keep drinking this? What's it taste like? <clears throat> it tastes. It. I taste the ginger that you're talking about, and then it tastes like a mellow sour. It's not taste like a sour to me, at all. Like which sour are you talking? Like, and it smell it smells like a sour to me too. I, I don't it, know is what it's very sour. acidic. It's just like, no, no, no. Because if it's spoiled, it it'd be like, very acidic. I think it's fine, and I don't know. It's probably fine. Maybe I just I I don't know. It tastes. Let me weird see. To me. Let's see. When was it bottled on? It's on the bottom below the barcode. Here. On the should say bottled on. When, when you opened it, it there was a lot of gas that came out when the cork. When you took no, out the cork, right? it wasn't like a lot of gas, but it like go, it was like a normal amount. It made the normal like That's, release of air yeah. sound, Pop, right? Noise. Yeah. So yeah. there doesn't seem to be any damage to the bottle. It was sealed. Yeah, it was sealed correctly. I think I it's fine, man. The it's only thing fine, I, I could think of is if it, if it was left in the sun. Like direct sunlight, right? Yeah, but I'm think I feel like Bevo <coughs> wouldn't do that. Um, no, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it, I think it's just everything a, you're saying it sounds like it's fine. You just are weird. Mine was bottled it last year, tastes... like last November. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's just Same. my uh, my taste of buddos. Um, I've been eating Being a lot of dumb. spicy food lately. Um. I don't know. It's like because I I get the ginger. I don't get coriander. I don't get hops. It's very fizzy. Um, It has like the same mouthfeel. Yeah, I don't get hops. Um, It smells good. It it smells like faintly sour, but I don't know. Maybe it's just my flavor Uh, profile. I don't know. I just got a lot of. I mean, I I could see how you could kind of like mistake it as a like smelling like a sour. It's got similar components because it's kind of got the fruitiness to it, but um, yeah. it's. I mean, it, they do call it a farmhouse ale, and sours yeah. used to be made in farmhouses. But yeah, I get. I get I think like yours the, is fine. like. I I think I get like I get like the almost like spoiledy grapes are taste. That's like like the fruit that I taste in it, but I don't know. I'm gonna keep drinking it. I don't care. I think you'll be fine. Um. So we went on that tangent. Yeah, I think um, <laughs> either your your taste buds are weird or you actually have a spoiled beer. Well, this is this is like this is like the second time though that we've all had the same beer and I've tasted something different, which I think is a good thing. It keeps us like uh I don't know, honest, I guess, instead of oh, everybody agrees this tastes good or everyone agrees this tastes bad because I mean everybody's different, you know what I mean? So I think I think it's it's a good thing to kind of yeah, you have a don't differentiation. Like Belgian, in taste. I'm just I'm just Belgian beer. No, I do I do like Belgian beer, though. That's the thing. That was the like, last beer that you be... had that did wrong taste. Or like you said, you're like, my taste was buds it? are wrong. Was it Belgian? Was it a Belgian? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe I just can't drink Belgian beer, boys. You can't, I, I, dude. You can't drink fuck, Belgian send, beer. Send the, send the ambulance. Uh, <laughs> well, <God>. Jesus. <laughs> um, so we kind of have pointed out there's a lot of spicy notes, a little bitter. Mm-hmm. And very high carbonation, fizzy mouthfeel. Mm-hmm. So, um, I guess it does have Alec, like dried fruit taste to me. Um, why don't you start us off with uh, your rating? <clears throat> uh, okay. So, it's been a long time since I've had a saison, saison. Um, but I like Belgian beers. Uh, this one is good as well. It fits the 
what I'm looking for. I actually really like how fizzy it is. Um, if you're looking for a bottle with a really cool logo, this really isn't it. It's like a yellow and white checkered pattern with green. It looks like a like a picnic table uh, tablecloth. <laughs> um, so, like besides that, it tastes good. I like the fizziness, um, and it's got a decent alcohol content. What is it like? Six point five. So it's not crazy, but you could definitely like drink a few of them and get a decent buzz if you want. Um, but you're not gonna get like messed up and start throwing up all over the place. So, uh, I think I'll give it a four. I okay, think that's good. Drew, I know you think that your beer is spoiled, <laughs> but um, I don't, giving I, your I honest don't think opinions, it's spoiled. I don't think it's spoiled. I think I just have a different palate than you guys do. Um, with that said, I, I like the mouthfeel. I like the fizziness. I like the head of it. It smells pretty good. It's just like the taste for me is is weird. Um, I think taking all things into consideration, I'm going to keep drinking it. Um, let me take one more sip. Do the different ways yeah. to drink it. You, you drink it with your, your, your nose yeah, open, I, or I, breathing. I, I did, I did drink all Drink it through your nose real quick. As I, yeah. as I, as I, <laughs> Put it in your as I kind of... <laughs> As I kind of drink it more, I think I get like used to the flavor, so it, it kind I kind of ignore like the sour notes to it. Um, but for me, it's like that ginger um, fermented grape flavor. Still, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna give it a 1.75. Um, there's a lot of things I like about it, but it's just like flavor to me is a lot, and it 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 doesn't taste. Oh, it kind of tastes bad. <laughs> it, it tastes kind of bad. It's not the worst <laughs> beer I've had, but it's like. I don't know. It's not doing it for me. And I like ginger, but I don't know. 1.75. Quite a stark difference. <laughs> All right. It's pretty low. Um, Feels low, <laughs> man. Uh, <laughs> it's not like the Olympics where we delete the highest and lowest score. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, All right. It's all up to you, Rolando. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is an interesting beer. I tend to be a fan of Belgian ales and mm -hmm. this one is quite indeed a Belgian. The odd thing about it is just I feel like I'm getting a lot of like clove and then I can taste some of the ginger and I'm not really getting any of the fruity notes. I don't know if it's because like I had brushed my teeth after eating a bit earlier so Yours maybe that's spoiled like enough. Changing it's, the way my taste like, buds They're are. pretty muted for um, me, so it could be that. I do like the color. The look of it is very beautiful. Uh, it's like I it got a nice golden kind of hazy hue. And the mouthfeel is nice. The head Ooh. is a nice vi like vibrant white <clears throat> that stays for a while. But I just have an issue with the actual taste of the beer. And for me, it just seems like too much spice. And then I'm not really getting anything else out of it. It's also like got like this weird bitterness to it that kind of tastes like hops, but I'm pretty sure there's no hops in this. So I don't know if that's I just it. <laughs> what like because I brushed my teeth before. I don't know. But for this, I'm going to have to go with a three. It's not... Um, it's not my favorite Belgian ale I've had and <clears throat> it's definitely not bad. Like it's drinkable. It's got a good alcohol content, but I don't know. The flavors just aren't doing it for me. So, uh, show. to recap on <clears throat> the Saison Dupont, we've got from Alec a four from Drew a, a 1.75. And for me, Blech. a three. So this is interesting because this is kind of like the very first time we've all had very differing views on a beer. Yeah. Um, yeah. Blech. Blech. So okay, as Drew I'm going to have to try it after business. brushing my teeth sometime and yeah. see what that does to it. <laughs> um, I Let's don't know. A, like a tongue had... transplant. You can try it how I taste. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> no, thank not. you. I would rather I not. want my tongue to work correctly. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so moving on from the beer... Let's move into the anime for our pairing. 
So first off, we've got two episodes of Love is Like a Cocktail. We've got a Bellini and an Irish coffee. So Drew, why don't you start us off on uh, these two little shorts? Let's make the let's make the Irish coffee, dude. I'm down. It's easy. It's coffee. They don't even make it with coffee. <clears throat> what? Th- what they just they did. Do, like, w- they, he was they like, the you coffee. can make this with coffee liqueur and hot water. <laughs> oh, I thought he made it with coffee. That was just like, yeah, that oh, was like I the suggestion. You, you, if when you they, because when they showed the recipe or whatever, it was like coffee liqueur, hot water, I think, and then sugar or whatever. I don't know. It's there was they had ingredients you can make on the top of uh, water. on top of the thing. It was like oh, they tri- was they put something? the subs weird on it, but it said hot mm-hmm. coffee. Irish whiskey yeah. above the name of the drink, and then there were mm-hmm. ingredients underneath. Mm. So yep. that may have like whipped cream been the, the thing. Because at first I was like, that doesn't make sense. Why is it only whipped cream and sugar? And then <laughs> I, I looked. I was like, where the fuck is the whiskey? And then I looked above, and there Dude, were ingredients that were sub in there. Um, yeah, let's, <clears> throw some, let's throw some Jameson and some, uh, some coffee. Let's get ham. If you want really good... Irish coffee, anyone. Uh, you got to go to where is it? It's uh, it's San Francisco. There, it's by the Ghirardelli factory. There is a bar there, and they serve like they're famous for their Irish coffee, and that stuff is dank. It's real good. Well, tell me the name of that because I'm gonna be up there. <clears throat> work. I will tell you eventually. <laughs> You're gonna be in Palo Alto. Yeah, I remember probably. it. Yeah, but it's like you know an hour from the not even an hour an hour with traffic probably, but it's close to the bay. I think it's farther than you think. Um, yeah, I think so. Too. I mean, it's 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 not close, but it's like you yeah. can. Do, I'm flying into San Francisco. You could go airport, in there, yeah. So I'm oh, flying really? into San Francisco airports. So, <clears throat> you yeah. should do Oakland. Like it's easier. Airport. Well, it's probably gonna be I a longer drive choose. if he just goes into Oakland. Oh, okay. I, I, yeah, I, 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 I don't, don't get to choose. choose. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was just saying um, it's easier because the Bart. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Um, the Bellini, <laughs> girly cocktail, eh, you know good for seducing your wife and having her know the Irish coffee was the scary one, but you could do it either way. Um, watch a scary movie, get your wife drunk and have her, uh, jump all you. over you. And then, and, and then you be weird and say, I can't see the TV. Shut the fuck up, dude. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no one likes woman. you when you're 23, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's when I turned on the TV, dude. Damn. <laughs> what are you doing? Those references. Those 90s references. I can't Damn. see uh, I can't see the TV screen with your ginormous tits in front of my face. Yeah. Yeah. Your hair your hair is but everywhere. Your glasses are getting ruined. You know. Clean yourself up, girl. You you hungry. <laughs> breathing him okay anyways uh what did you think alec of these <laughs> two shorts um so i keep enjoying the show i find it fun to watch it's nice and short um so it's just something to watch when like <clears throat> i don't know in between episodes or something like that or um but i i really like this last one the scary movie one it was pretty funny um uh the the bellini uh, I don't really have an interest in trying it, but as the show goes, it's, it's short, it's cute, it's entertaining. I like it. The two episodes so far, I think the set, the scary one, the one with the scary movie was better. Yeah. Cause yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. really funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's all I got to say about that. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I agree with both on. of you. I do agree that the Irish coffee would be a better drink in the first place. And also it was a better episode. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Moving on <clears throat> to Shokugeki no Soma, we've got episodes six Ooh. and seven, The Imprisoned Ooh. Queen, and It Begins. <laughs> so this is kind of where we've got the result of the coup from the Elite Ten. And so The Coup de Tat. Yes, the Coup de Tat. Uh <laughs> de tits. So uh <laughs> Arina's father has finished his revolution. And now Mm -hmm. they're kind of ruling Totsuki with a dictatorship. And we've got communism, dude. Yeah. With the iron fist uh, of Dracula. (laughs) And so we've got Arina's grandfather coming to Soma asking him to please save Arina. Typical, right? I called that, by the way. And then uh, we've got 
the kind of resulting play from I keep forgetting the dude's name, but like it's the money treasurer dude, and he's like just trying <laughs> oh, to buy Eisen, out the judges. Yeah. yeah, that dude. He's just trying you to buy out the judges. Reason I remember it. The only reason I remember his name is Eisen is because he has the fucking same name as the Bleach. Oh uh, yeah, from Bleach. Villain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And they look kind of similar. They both wear glasses. And they have like the kind of like the eyes that like they're looking yeah, down the, on you. That kind of look. Yeah, yeah. Um, the eyes of a dragon. Yeah, the eyes of a dragon. So, uh, Alec, why don't we start off with you? What did you think of these last couple of episodes? Um. So <clears throat> I enjoyed this last episode uh, more than the previous ones. The previous ones felt... They were like building up stuff, you know, but it felt kind of slow. So um, <clears throat> I I liked this one better because it felt more like to me like the previous seasons. And I liked the, you know, seasons one and two, obviously, especially with how they ended this the this most recent episode, just super cliffhanger, um, <clears throat> which we haven't had in a while. Last That's- yeah, I was going to say, what? that's like even what you said, Rolando, like when you watched it, you're like, oh, they're bringing back the cliffhangers. Here we, we haven't go. had a cliffhanger like this <laughs> in season two. No, everything is yeah. resolved. And to me, that makes it feel slow. Like if it resolves, it just feels like mini episodes within a show. And I'm just like, well, yeah, I'd rather have cliffhangers than not have them because that makes the whole show more exciting. This one was and, brutal, um, though, right? This episode? Yeah, I mean, it's like you want more. It like ended and you're oh, just yeah. like, fuck. Yeah, I was like, come on, really? <laughs> like you end it <laughs> like right they're there. about to like go beat up the polar star dorm kids. Like, what the fuck? I'm pretty sure that's like they're gonna go to jail for that. <laughs> like No, they can't oh, do no, not in not in communist <laughs> communist Japan, dude. Not in communist <laughs> Totsuki. Yeah. Communist yeah, Totsuki, yeah. they're their own country. They can do what they want. <laughs> they're they're annexing the polar, polar like, the polar star. The polar star dorm. Polar Storm. The I'm going to abbreviate it to the Polar Storm because it's the st- Polar Star Dorm. The Polar so the Storm. Polar storm. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a strat in like StarCraft or something. <laughs> yeah, the, the Polar Storm. Oh. He's doing the Polar Storm. <laughs> the one only good Protoss strat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Polar Storm. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, <laughs> Drew, so uh, what did you think of these last couple of episodes? Man, just, just, you know, they're going to leave me out to dry like that. Um, you know, I think the the people who are emerging as like villains within the show are just so good. You know, Aizen is such a good villain and we've seen him kind of cooperate um, with Soma like a little bit. But, you know, he's always has his like ulterior motives and things like that. Um uh Irina's dad is like a fucking Dracula villain just like you said <laughs> like um I was I was talking to uh my buddy um who listens to the podcast his name's Hobo hopefully we'll have him on here um within the next couple weeks but uh you know he's saying like all this stuff to me because he's he's caught up with the manga and stuff like that he's like dude just like when you find out like the reasons like why he's doing this and shit like that it just like blows your mind and, and shit like that it's just uh it's it's so good um i i'm always craving more this this show is just is just ridiculous it's it's just like heroin to me it's like i see an episode and i just want more constantly um in terms of like actual content um i think the most recent do drugs, episode is probably kids. the one we should yeah <laughs> i think the most recent episode is one that we should probably concentrate on um we see mm-hmm. like the um they abolish the the clubs or like the research societies and, and things like that and that causes an uproar we have aizen um paying off the judges so shokugeki's mean nothing anymore uh, that's a big deal i mean that's the name of the fucking show um <laughs> so you know I'm, I'm so curious to see what kind of twist is going to happen or how Soma convinces or how Rindo, cause Rindo fucking knows something, how she convinces, uh, Aizen to, uh, let the judges actually judge the food. Um, cause there's gotta, there's gotta be, you know, something along those lines going forward. Um, Rindo's such a good character. They're going to appeal to his like, ego. Oh, yeah. oh, definitely. And I mean, and, and, you know, despite like everything we talked about and like sexualizing Rindo, because, everybody's sexualizing Rindo. Um, she's such a good character because it's like, you feel, you feel like she knows something more and she's like involved and you're just like, she's mysterious too. So you're like, you know, what's, what's your motive in all this? Cause it doesn't seem like you care. She just um, wants to have an enjoyable high school life. 
She just wants to eat <laughs> and eat f- and eat food. She's a fucking <laughs> and glutton. Good food. <laughs> Doesn't want to do any work and just eat. Um, yeah. To yeah. go back to what you said a couple episodes already before Drew is a daddy issues. So I think that mm-hmm. Arena's mm-hmm. father actually is the one that has the daddy issues, and that's why he's doing all this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And and mm-hmm. not only and not only daddy issues, but feelings of um, inaccurate. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Inadequacies. Inadequacy yeah, a, towards yeah. um, not only Soma's dad, but um, the bald dude who runs like the hotels. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. Gin. The buff guy. Yeah. 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 Um, but like he he it was probably third place in that class, uh, third seat, always felt inadequate and is trying to catch up with them because those two are so involved with like, you know, personalize your food, um, customize your the, food in a way that you... The, they yeah, cook for your soul as opposed to like towards the recipe and yeah. like towards the and it's gourmet and food is like for that. anybody and like it mm-hmm. depends on the customer where he's like gourmet food should only be mm-hmm. enjoyed by the elite exactly. people and so there, Clearly, there's some sort of like uh, <laughs> some like Napoleon complex <laughs> issues here some uh, my dick is small but I have to make up with it with money um, <laughs> so there's there's something going going on there that hopefully uh, we see uh, in the in the in the next uh, in the next few episodes so. Nice. Um, cook with your heart, people. You, if you're gonna cook, cook, cook with your heart. Cook with no, your please heart. cook with your hands. If you cook with your heart, you're gonna shit's die. gonna go wrong, man. <laughs> well, make make heart because heart tastes good. <laughs> make heart. Mm. Mm. All right. Chicken heart. So uh, chicken hearts are dope. I think we kind of covered the like the last two episodes pretty well. It's basically like the previous episode was a lead up. Yeah. We have Arena running away and hiding out at polar storm i'm gonna keep using that and uh, <laughs> like that. Keep doing it. uh and then we've got soma challenging aizen to a shokugeki despite the fact that he's paying off the judges so we kind of know of course that something is gonna happen because soma is not mm-hmm. dumb then he wouldn't just challenge aizen without a, like you know a plan <laughs> So I'm interested. Well, and why does see. why does Rindo show up too? You know, it's like like she she would have to know because she mm-hmm. like she acts like that character that just like is super carefree, but like she probably has the most understanding of everything yeah. out of every all mm-hmm. the elite yep. ten. Yep. Yep. Cool. So yeah, 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 yeah. Moving yeah, yeah. on from our pairing, let's go into happy hour. Mm. So, uh, Alec, have you seen any blend s at all? No. <laughs> uh, what is it? Uh, All right. Well, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> it's that anime I've been talking about for like a couple of episodes already, saying uh, it's, it's perfect. Oh. Snoop Dogg. For, yeah, that one. That one. The one yeah, that one. Drew it. finally started watching. So we can yeah, yeah. quickly cover you this. You two can talk about it. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Drew, episode seven of Blend S busy with bananas and Man. strawberries. Um, yeah. What were your, kind of your another, impressions of this episode? Another another perfect episode. Um, if you guys are watching here, we made a quick 10 minute episode talking about the first six episodes. It is on our YouTube and all other various uh, places uh, talking about it. But man, this show is fucking good, dude. We got um, we got Kaho, you know, coming in with the uh, the tan lines, you know, OK, hand emoji. Um, we got them serving food in a uh, in a jungle style cafe. Um, people slipping on bananas. People being fed bananas by their older sister. You know, just just all in all, you know, ten at ten at ten. First half of that episode. Uh, the second half, um, or maybe it's the first half. I might have that was flip flopped, but that was the first half. So second half, they have um, uh, the owner Dino and uh, Micah go. Is that her name, Micah? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they have them go and look for strawberries, and she screams and glares at a little kid to make her cry. Ten to ten, <laughs> nice episode. Okay, hand emoji, just you know, fantastic. And to top it all off, Rolando, and I want to hear your thoughts of on this. To top it all off, next week we have our idol character coming in. Are you excited? Um, I guess. For some reason, for me, I just be, be feel ex- like she's excited. gonna be annoying. She just—that's what. Be excited. She seems like she's all the girls annoying. are good. All the girls are good, so she well, can't be annoying. She's we'll gonna be have great. to find I out faith. about that one. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, what did you think? What did you think about this episode, though? I thought it was good. 
I think the part that I enjoyed the most was it wasn't the That's jungle right. part, but it was the part where they're like looking for the strawberries and then to cover up for the fact that they didn't have strawberries, you've got like Mafia and mm. company are just trying to lead everyone away from picking anything with strawberries in it. And like they're using their character types to kind of force them to order shit. And it was just kind of just fucking hilarious how ten good ten. at good at you know doing that they were. Um, yeah, it was good. There was a uh, more of that Kaho and I forgot what the kitchen dude's name is, but Le- Levi from Attack on Titan. <laughs> yeah, the guy that looks like Levi, I guess. Uh, they uh, <laughs> there's like clearly some sort of ship that's like developing between those two, and I'm okay mm-hmm. with that. And uh, it, also it's, uh, to kind of talk about that like really quickly um, when they cross dressed and have the girls dress like them uh, when they put on the maid uniforms or like the servant uniforms or whatever um, Dino had um, um, what's her name's uh, uniform the pink and then um, green haired Levi guy had um, you know her uniform um, Cahos? Yahoo or whatever the fuck her name is Cahos. I, I you literally said her name like five minutes ago. I know, and, and I'm I'm like panicking. Help me, help me. I don't know how he could fit in that uniform because uh, right, he doesn't no, have. He, this. They they had they had a they had a version uh, for him. You know he's he's all right. Yeah, uh, Tahoe and uh, Micah. God. Yeah, Mika. This is Mika? interesting, Alec. I I say you should for sure watch it. You'd get a, yeah, watch, watch a lot of show, kicks dude. out of it. You'd it's very really funny. I will uh, in a week. I will have more time and then I will catch up and and do that. <laughs> no more 70. It was one of those shows. It was yeah, it was one of those shows that, like I just put it on before bed and it was just funny and like easy to watch. That's how I caught up on it, so mm-hmm. highly highly recommend uh, doing that. Yeah. We'll do it for sure. Cool. Just yeah, remind me or I'll forget. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. We will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh yeah, I'm sure Drew will yell at me. Did you watch it? Yeah. <laughs> And it'll sound exactly like that. Yeah, it will. <laughs> um, so uh, moving on from Blend Tan S. Tan Kaho. Um, yes. Kaho is tan. Is tan. That is what happened. Um, Alec. Tan. Why don't, we'll start yes. with you for our next segment since you okay. have watched this one. Since I've been quiet for so long. Yes. <laughs> so we've got Recovery of an M- MMO Junkie. Ep- junkie, mm-hmm. not Junkie. Um, episodes six and seven. I'm so embarrassed I could die, and you and I and me and you. So these are kind of the episodes where <coughs> Sakurai finds out and realizes that Moriko is actually Hayashi, and kind of, mm-hmm. in a sense, cucking himself uh, because yeah, he's all an the idiot. time. So uh, why don't you idiot. give us your views on uh, these past couple of episodes? So the f- two episodes ago, the I'm so embarrassed I could die. I kind of figured that's what it was going to be, that she got the wrong day <clears throat> and then showed up late. And then obviously he was like, huh, huh well, it was supposed to be today. It's just a coincidence. Yeah, I know. And then he shows up and he sees her all cliche, super cliche. And then he like compliments her in the in the nighttime with the soft glow of the uh, surrounding streetlights, which are probably not that soft in real life. And they're probably really harsh and bright, but, um, (laughs) um, and then they go hang out. And I think, um, I just, is it Sakurai? That's his name, right? Mm -hmm. He's been annoying me, man. I'm just like, quit being such a little bitch. I know. Like exactly. Fucking Christ. I agree. Oh, well, no, I, I, I already said I wouldn't like, this isn't, it's, it's his turn now. It's like, what well, you never even had a turn because you gave up before your turn even showed up. You're like, you know what? No, it's like going to a poker table and getting your hand and you've got two Queens and you're like, no, nah, I fold Gra- like, granted. What the fuck? <laughs> granted Sakurai's character is kind of like a B type personality. Whereas, uh, Koi Wai <laughs> is more of like that go getter. And, uh, yeah, he's kind of. His playfulness is, in a sense, part of the reason why Sakurai is acting this way. But kind of what Drew was saying in the last episode, 
it seems like he does have like an ulterior motive where now he mm-hmm. like at first maybe was like, oh, let me help out my my buddy. But now he's kind of like, well, I kind of like this chick now, too. So I'm going to try and, you know, hook up with her. So, yeah, Drew, like, yeah, what are your thoughts? Scummy, on that? dude. He's being scummy, dude. I was afraid of this. Um, Is he being scummy, though? It, it's it's hard to say because it's it's part of his personality and part of it's like you know oh Mori Mori Chan she's got that big chest I'm all about that <laughs> she got she got a good personality let me uh, get involved with the things that she likes um, but at the end of the day dude we're coming full fucking circle he's he's starting his MMO character and it's a girl like whatever it, his character doesn't matter to me and then a we have. <laughs> Yeah, that was the best. We have strong, <laughs> beautiful woman. That's yeah, one of the like, she's gorgeous. <laughs> he's and he thinks she's like yeah. fucking hot, dude. He's like all about it. Um, <laughs> but then we have you know um, Sakurai and um, Mori Mori switching, um, mm-hmm. and then we have all these fucking flashbacks <clears throat> to the game that they played before, and like yeah. for some reason Clearly they met in that besties. game too. It was obvious. <laughs> It was no, I, I I knew I knew that from the start, but it's just like, come on, like how many coincidences? And they're besties. Be? I was just <laughs> screaming at the end of the episode. I was just like, do it. I know you're gonna do it. You're gonna make the character that looks like your old MMO character, and yep. then you see him yep. like yep. create character, and just like, I fucking yep. knew yep. it. And yep. then the episode ends, and you're like, yep. All right, yep. fuck, fuck, yep. <laughs> and then I they're gonna find out before. who they were, and the, oh my god, <laughs> yeah, I've known you yeah. this whole time. I was uh, hoping before that happened, when they're sitting in the tree talking about the dates, that he just goes, like, oh, like, that sounds like a really fun time. I had a fun time, too, Mori Mori Chan. And then she, like, loses her shit. Like, that would have been cool. <laughs> but, like, this is this is just, like, what everybody inspected. Like, oh, yep, they're going to make uh, the same characters that they uh, had before. And then they're going to end up involved with the guild. Shout out to Guild Leader, too, because he's just, like, on top of it. He's like, I know this is Mori Mori. Like, Dude, he's, <laughs> duh. <laughs> he, he's, well, I mean, she did tell him, but. Did she tell him? Yeah. Like, yeah. they cut away from it, but she said, hey, Kanbei, actually, I'm, and she whispered to him. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. So that's how he knew. And that was in the store, right? I got you. Yeah. I got you. Um, yeah. In the convenience Well, no, it wasn't store. in the store, but, like. When they were talking in the town of like, oh, beginnings that's area. right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. When yeah, they created yeah. the new characters or whatever, because yeah. he knew he knew um, the male character was her already. But um, but yeah, that was an interesting couple of episodes, and just you know, this Sakurai dude, stop <clears> like, <throat> you're Alec. It's like what you said last episode, which was you friend zone yourself, right? Yeah, hundred <laughs> yeah. percent. Like he's yeah. just doing that. He's just like he's oh, friend zoning himself. I, like it, he he got dibs first, I guess. So I'm gonna I'm gonna not involve myself <laughs> into this. Yeah, Dude, and stop. Then, and then I have another. I have another thing. It's like you friend zone yourself. <clears throat> and then it was like um, I remember I was having a conversation once with my sister a long time ago, and uh, it was about something I don't know. And it was like oh well, I mean like he was interested in her first or whatever. And my sister just like off off the cuff remark just goes what the girl has no say and i was like that's a really good point like yeah. <laughs> who yep, gives a yep, shit who has yep. dibs it doesn't matter yep. who has dibs yep. because in the yep. end she's gonna that's choose true. you she's fucking idiot yeah. so exactly. i mean like obviously if there's only one choice <clears throat> then she can't choose the other one but she could still not choose the other one so it's yeah. you know so he's well, and it's, it's but, such um, a Japanese it's such a Japanese thing to do to just say like, oh, you know, my senior called dibs. Guess I can't do anything about that now. I'm just going to be passive and pout and be sad. And then just like say to yourself, like, I should I should have gone for it. I should have gone for it. And then just do nothing. I know. Commit like, suicide. Who, 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 are, who are you guys rooting for? <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you rooting for neither of them? Kanbei san. You're rooting for, for Kanbei san and the, uh, oh, yeah. the other girl, dude. Kanbei and the other girl. That's who the I'm rooting for. Girl. Fuck dude, everyone else. Yeah. They're all stupid. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The, the call, he's going for the uh, the college chick, the blonde one. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. Well, him and she him. likes him. Yeah. And, the, and, he, and the he's cat, oblivious. Cat not, girl. not the blonde, not the blonde in game. Like the, the purple. The one with purple hair. No, the purple hair cat grill or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's who I'm rooting for. That's the yeah, that's, that's the, the par- true that's the secret parent. underlying plot pushers of this story yeah. right now. They're they're the real heroes. <laughs> but really yeah, though, yeah, like if yeah. we're being serious, like I I do want 
Sakurai to get out of his shell and finally yeah. just yeah. actually push himself to get with Moriko. <clears throat> just because mm-hmm. he's the one that's putting this on himself. It doesn't help that Koi Wai's personality is like that, but you know, mm-hmm. like yeah. it's just, dude, stop and stop cooking yourself, man up. Like, and man she up. obviously, and it's one of those situations where it's like he's obviously friend zoning himself because she clearly is into him. Because after yeah. her date with the other dude, he she went to she him. went and talked to Lily San, and all she talked about was him and not yep. the date. Yep. So it's like, dude, can you take a hint? Uh, no, you're uh, too fucking stupid. I can't. Stupid I can't. Going, I can't help uh, but feel good about myself right now. Uh, she I also just good. thinks he's <laughs> like fucking. All beautiful. I want to do is. All I want to do is yeah. escape. Yeah. She likes that for, yeah. that foreign look. Dude. She likes that blonde. Like <laughs> blonde hair. Kimpatsu, dude. Younger than her. Oh, dude, when are we going? When are we going to Japan? <laughs> in the spring dude. <laughs> oh so you can find a nice kimpatsu man yeah that's what he wants yeah no mm-hmm. remember he's got daddy issues <laughs> no um <laughs> <laughs> he didn't cook enough for his father so yeah damn um <laughs> to- my tongue wasn't good yeah he, he didn't have yeah, a your god tongue <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't you didn't, you didn't sit in the chair stuff. like you were told to you didn't throw away the food like you were told to <laughs> you ate it you said no i don't want to waste food and you ate it and then you got beaten <laughs> yeah um, what a tough life. moving on from <laughs> uh evo junkie we've got a sister is all you need episodes six and seven so uh in these two episodes <clears throat> our episode titles were having your media developments go well is all you need and an adventure is all you need so they didn't go well. They did not no. go well in that episode six because <laughs> apparently six. <laughs> Haruto's anime is shit. And uh, glass yep. slip. I don't know. They glass they made it seem like yes. it was worse than glass slip <laughs> because they people like, this were contemplating dropping it on the first episode. <laughs> yeah, everything is obvious. Like there's nothing different about this. <laughs> the voice acting sucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dude, that sucks. What uh, I don't know. Like this, this show has like been pretty good about, um, taking shit that like actually does happen in the real world and making it kind of, mm-hmm. uh, like I guess a satire. So like, what Drew? Let's start with you. What did you think of these the last two episodes? <clears throat> um, you know, you feel bad, um, that the anime sucks, but. That's also trying to adapt light novels to anime, which always turns out. I don't know. Poorly. A lot of times, it's it, it's harder than manga because manga actually, you know, you have you know what you you think the characters look like. Um, you have like a basic plot set up, and so trying to make that translation is always harder. Um, I feel bad for you, you know that it, it's going bad, um, but I don't know. I don't even know what to say about it. It's just like, it's like a real feel bad episode. Like um, <laughs> you kind of get, you kind of get the development um, between uh, him and uh, what's her name? Uh, Miyako. And she like starts crying and she's like, I see you put all this effort into this and then it just sucks. And I feel so bad. <laughs> and then, and, now and, then, and then you like get her in the next yeah. yeah, then you get her in the next episode where it's like, you know, she writes her character traits in her D&D character and it's like, you know, likes people who work hard, hates people who don't like people who work harder, like something stupid like that. Right. Um, and the, we saw like the preview of the next episode. It's like friends and romances or something yeah. is all you need. He's going to get fucking cucked. He's going to get friend zoned so hard. Oh, yeah. He's just going to get he is like the, yeah, the she's whooping in, yeah, yeah. anime. He's going to like, yeah, because like he tells <laughs> He tells Itsuki, like, oh, like, does does she have have a boyfriend? boyfriend? He's like, what? And then so now he's going to be in on it, like, trying to hook him up. Yeah. But we saw in episode six. And it's going to go poorly. We saw in episode six that Miyako was looking at that card from the game they were playing that says, Mm -hmm. love, Mm -hmm. uh, falling in love with the uh, same person as your best friend. (laughs) And just like, well, clearly we know she's in love with Itsuki. Yeah. And um, so it's just going to be this weird triangle of uh haruto getting quadruple angle getting I guess like a rectangle shit out of luck and then um probably <laughs> yep. like going like damn it it's always itsuki like that kind of shit um yeah yep. like, gonna be emo and they're gonna fight um alec what did you think about these last two <laughs> i know the the last one was kind of more just 
a funny fan service episode. Yeah, this last one was definitely like fan servicey, but you kind of got, you know, at the end. So I, my favorite part about the last episode was actually the very end when he goes, does uh, Miyako have a, a boyfriend? And then they kind of like zoom out to the whole room and then Itsuki's just like looking and he's like, huh? <laughs> and then it just cuts right there. <laughs> I actually laughed really hard. I don't know why, but I thought it was fucking hilarious. Um, but yeah, it's like what you, I agree with what you guys said. It's just turning into a, obviously turning into a triangle. Um, I think he definitely liked Miyako before though. Um, and then this is just like making him want to try for it. Um, and then she's obviously into Itsuki for longer than silver hair girl has been because I forgot her name. Yeah. Um, Nayuta. Nayuta. And, um, but yeah, I mean. It'll be interesting where it goes, how they kind of resolve it. Because I I think that... Um, crap, what's the other author's name? There's Itsuki and... Uh, Haruto. Haruto, thank you. Uh, I, I think Haruto shouldn't, like... I hope it doesn't, like... They don't do something where he's like, Ah, oh, <clears throat> she likes you. Uh, I'm not going to talk to you kind of bullshit. Because Itsuki is, like, a absent-minded idiot. But he's clearly he's a really genuine. good friend. Cause yeah. And he's genuine because like he's all down, like looking at the reviews and then he's like sitting there trying to do his work. And he's like, I feel like playing an RPG, you know, and he just to cheer him up because he remembered what he said like four days ago or whatever. Yeah. And so hopefully they don't make a scene like that because that'll make me angry because I'm like, come on, man, don't be a fucking idiot. Like if anyone (laughs) initiates it, it's going to be hard, though, because I can see him having that jealous nature because multiple times throughout the series, you have him like brooding and thinking like, if only I was better. Yeah. If if only Mm -hmm. I I did this better. So he's going to do it. And then Itsuki's like, bro, like we're homies. Like, why? Why you got to like, you know, destroy me like that? It's like we're just friends. Um, I think it's going to happen. And then the accountant is going to slap him in the face. (laughs) <laughs> or Miyako. She's going to come in and be like, that's who, that's who, that's who, that's who, that's who Miyako is. Yeah. 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 And go, are oh. you stupid? Like, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's why he's going to get cucked. He's going to go for her and she's like, oh, I think I like it. And then it's like, and then he's going to be like, Ugh. and then she's going to be like, Wah-pah! this is why I don't like you. Because oh. you just ditch friends. Oh. Yeah. That's what's yeah. going to happen. I don't know. I'm making Ooh. shit up now. But <laughs> speaking, speaking of a couple of, you know, funny things of this episode. So in that last episode, uh, we've got Talk about it. the special Talk about abilities it. from uh, all of their <laughs> RPG, their tabletop D and D characters. It was so and lit. A certain, a certain, a certain magical little a sister. A certain set of <laughs> abilities <laughs> that were being used. Um, I don't know if it was fate or anything, but uh, they uh, seem to have copied some signature abilities. No. From uh, no po- some popular of anime. Not. Of course, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't copy <laughs> the Tomon, who is a god hand, um, god hand. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, and they certainly, certainly wouldn't ever, ever copy uh, Mikasa. Would they be able to copy Unlimited Blade Works though? No. <laughs> Oh, okay. Of course not. I like how they referenced that not. they were copying stuff in the show too. <laughs> yeah. The wasn't Miyako. She's like, I think haven't these seem really familiar. <laughs> and he's like, it's okay. <laughs> and I said, and I said, I said Mikasa. I meant Misaka. I always get those fucking two idiots mixed up. Oh, Mikasa. Yeah. <laughs> Mikasa is Sukasa. Well, Mikasa, the, the best part. Mika- Mikasa. <laughs> the best part being that they Mik- actually made uh, Miyako's hairstyle. Like when they were showing like the fantasy yep. scenes, the yep. exact same hairstyle. Yep. <laughs> it was just like, oh, yep. They're like you couldn't be any more like, <laughs> like what you would call it, like Troll. obvious. Um, yeah. But Man. what I really wanted that, to that talk was about though. was episode six. So we had been talking about how is there a possibility that the trap is actually not a trap? And uh, I'm wondering the same thing because apparently oh. Itsuki's little brother wears women's panties. Yeah. Uh, and there was no bulge whatsoever. So I don't know. What do you what's, guys what's think about that there? weird? I think it's harassment. It's weird. Scene. I think just he's weird. a girl. <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> it was odd. But I think he's a girl it because fucking, of that and was, because of the most recent episode where they he was saying, oh, yeah, you could be, you know, exactly gender. as you are or not. And then he goes, oh, I could 
or and he's like or he she is like exactly as I am and then he goes can I be any gender I want and it's like come on can you be any more obvious like yeah it's so, he's got to so be the little sister forced. It's so forced though, because like you have Setsuna, which is that author dude, just like randomly coming over and then like seeing him, he's like, "Oh, let me just pull your pants no, down." I'm like, "What?" No, 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 like, you, I guess you you're a fucking important weirdo. Part, Drew. So what, what Setsuna what shows up and says, "Dat ass," and then proceeds yeah, to sexually yeah, harass yeah. the younger brother. <laughs> Goes, "Dat ass." With that, with that ass, I could make tons of new content. <laughs> and then goes and pulls down his her pants. And and then she goes, stop it, and kicks him in the face. That's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> That's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> King of the Hill, in case anyone didn't know. Go watch Got it. Him. It's a funny Got show. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was forced. I. Uh, that's going to be weird. It's going to be weird. What I want to know is, like, it seems a little forced, but I want to know the reason why he's pretending to be a dude. Well, and it's probably because siblings, what's his name right? had a little sister complex from forever. And they're like, yeah. oh, just be a guy or he's going to rape you. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> or maybe the parents don't even know because they're stupid. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, gave, I gave birth to you. And I, don't, I still don't want to know the gender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. No, like Ch- Chihiro, Chihiro can <laughs> be a boy or a girl's too. name, right? Yeah. Because like we have Chihiro in Spirited Away. That's a girl. Yeah, he's uh-huh. supposed to be a guy here. His name is Chihiro. So where's panties? Yeah, who knows? Yeah, where's? Uh-huh. I'm surprised there wasn't like a like a bear on him. You know? Yeah. I mean, there's also the fact that when I was uh, looking for <laughs> <a> bear, <laughs> I was looking. I was looking for <laughs> images to use for like one of the slides, uh, like a couple weeks ago, and I was looking at like the light novel book covers, and one of them shows like Chihiro looking one way and then the next volume cover is like a similar pose but like looking more girly so i'm just like mm. are they they're gonna pull mm. this thing like we're the younger mm. brother's really the younger sister like i know they're gonna fucking pull it yeah kantoku loves loves the traps dude we can see it <laughs> but uh yeah the is there anything else yeah. from a sister's all you need that you guys wanted to talk about mm. um the the <clears throat> monster scene, the tentacle monster, wasn't it called like something like it was almost like rape roper? Like it was like ten ten it was ten a roper. roper or something like, <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> just like straight up. We also had uh, Natsuya like basically raping uh, Mafuyu. <laughs> like what the fuck? Um, a side note: I want to see this episode uncensored. Um, but there's not much to see for, uncensored for, for for science. There's literally like two scenes that were censored. One of them is yeah, I want to yeah. One I, of them is ten. I want to see it. Yeah, I want to. I want to see it. No, why don't you have a seat? Um, <laughs> <laughs> sit down. Be humble. <laughs> uh, so, besides that, was there anything else we wanted to cover? Pretend you didn't hear this, that on this episode. Um, about uh, about this show. Yes. No, I don't think so. All right. Well, I want to play a tabletop RPG now, though. Oh, you do? We Dungeons should do one. That would be fun. We yeah, should. That'd be fun. They're 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 Dungeons definitely a lot of fun. fun. We should. I've never uh, done one ever in my life. You never played D and D, dude. It's it's no, fun. No, never. I wanted to oh, at some play. point, and then I never knew anyone who played, so I've never played, and I want to, well, but no one ever wants oh. to play with me. Like Frisky's got I always a bunch want, of... I'm always down to play D and D. Frisky's got a lot. But I also don't know anyone who owns it. Who? Frisky does. You don't have to. Oh, okay. So we'll go play with the next time Frisky is in the mood to play like a D and D like or anything like that, and uh, don't you need the board? We'll try and schedule. No, you literally need nothing. Uh, Yeah, you can if if you wanted. uh, If you play online, you can play with. You could you could just find like a like a frame kind of rule set type deal. From like a D and D board, and then Just make your own story. Com. Shout outs, shout outs to Roll Twenty dot com. You can play everything with D and D on Roll Twenty dot com. Yeah, you just not make sponsored. your own story. Hashtag not sponsored. You could honestly, we could probably do it on Tabletop Simulator. 
and uh, you can you can also true. do it on tabletop simulator and just Shout make our own tabletop simulator. make our own thing. Someone just has to make a story, the game master, and then I think that would be a like a fun thing to do, especially drunk. <laughs> yeah, that would actually be fun. What a, what we come up with? Yeah, is oh, well, I mean, I don't think anyone would think up the story drunk, but that no, no, would I'm be, just... <laughs> that would be interesting too. I want to come yeah, up D&D's with my fun. character drunk. That okay. Yeah. yeah. If you've never if you never played D and I highly recommend it. A lot of yeah. fun. Yeah. We'll yeah. Get something I'd set up for you guys. Yeah. We'll get something yeah. set up yeah. for you guys. Yeah. I'd be yeah. down. Yeah. That sounds fun. Okay. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is a. This is a. Uh, uh, what did they call it? They they were like, why does everyone look so stoic? And then he's like, oh, this is an overseas. Oh yeah, it's an overseas uh, RPG. <laughs> overseas rpg <laughs> you'll just have to deal with it <laughs> like what are the japanese rpgs like is everything like am it everything M- is M- like M- fucking anime anime M- yep. characters M- anime dude M- anime because apparently M- anime. i can't talk right now everything is anime M- i got the large bottle of saison dupont <sighs> all right so uh now that we've yeah. covered everything was there any lingering uh you know anything Regrets. you guys have seen this week that you wanted to briefly touch on any news or any of that? No, I feel like there we is can... something, but I can't remember. I, no. I would talk about the ancient Magus's bride, but we can just do a, we'll do a small short recording like you guys did with the, uh, blend S. Yeah. We'll do another one of yeah. those. Um, yeah, more content. Be excited. But other than that, any last words from, you guys that you want to talk Thanks about? Thanks for watching or listening, I guess. That's, that's it. it. That's <laughs> it from you? That's it for me. You just want to thank yeah, that's everybody? that's it for me. I just want to say thanks. I'm grateful to all our <laughs> listeners. They're awesome. Giving us those views, especially on episode four. Like, They're dang. Still getting, <laughs> still getting retweeted and all of that and still getting views. Yeah. Um, still getting views. Months why, later. Why episode four? I don't like, know. Don't, don't ask me. <laughs> We had a retweet like a couple weeks ago on episode four. And it's like, this thing is like three months old, dude. <laughs> it's more than three months old. Nice. Um, yeah, but I'm just throwing numbers out there. All right, man. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Drew, do you have anything <laughs> 30, to add before we close 30, this up? Yeah, episode 30 hype. You know, uh, thanks for listening. I'm mm-hmm. um, hoping to provide uh, <clears throat> more content going forward. Um yeah, just look forward to it. Hopefully your beer doesn't taste sour like mine did, but you know, think, things yeah, happen. Um, looking forward to Shokugeki next week. That shit's going to be hype as fuck. Nice. All right. Well, yeah, it'll be cool. Um, from all of us. So I'm just going to leave this with you guys and give you our WordPress. We've got anime on draft.wordpress.com. You can find everything there, a subscribe link to our iTunes, as well as links to our SoundCloud, YouTube, and twitter we do have an instagram i believe but i haven't opened that in a while so i don't remember what the last beer we had on there was and um Mm. yeah so you can find everything there (laughs) uh you can also just search for anime on draft on all of the aforementioned aforementioned sites that i had effervescent sites effervescent sites and um so yeah, why don't we uh, wrap it up here? Thirty episodes, boys. What do you uh, ooh, ooh. what do you say about that? It's pretty sick. Yeah. All right. Come back next week. Come back. You won't. We'll have a special you Thanksgiving I episode. Hope, I hope they do. Don't say that. <laughs> Thank special you. Thanksgiving Thank episode. You. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, you can because you're the host. Oh, all right. Ooh. Cool. Ooh. <laughs> Woo. All right. Bye. <laughs> Got him. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Got him. Got him. Bye. Got him. Bye. Got him. Bye.